Well, folks, welcome back to our show this week. For those of y'all that missed last week's show, part one of New York Smallmouth, we had a chance to fish Lake Erie, if none other place. And Frank Campbell, our guide and my go-to guy here, mm -hmm. when we come up to the upstate of New York. You know, Frank, I tell you what, when people come up here, they have options, okay? Oh. Um, it was such a beautiful day. Didn't want to go back to the hotel. Okay, we fished all morning, got a little rough out there yeah. about noontime on Lake Erie, and so now we're down here on the Niagara River. Exactly, that's the nicest thing is, you know, you're traveling a lot of way, you're just coming, coming to fish, and sometimes you get blown off other areas. Well, here, usually, unless it's a hurricane, we can find another place to fish. Uh, 30 minutes later, we're back on the water fishing, and just have a good, as good a chance down here as you do any place else to catch good, big fish. So. Well, and again, I will tell you, the great thing about coming up here to fish with you is is the options. Well, and, you know, as we've talked earlier in part one, uh, we talked about the different species of fish, and, and basically you fish year-round up here. Yeah, exactly. We uh, spend a lot of time down here in the lower river. I'm basically down here in the lower river from, some, from sometime in September all the way into May, and then we go back and forth on Erie and down here. So it's, it's, it's a neat area, you know, a lot of neat things to do, not only fish, but... Uh, the fishing definitely, for me, takes center stage. Well, and again, as you can see, folks, uh, Coast Guard Station's right behind us. That's actually Lake Ontario yes. behind us back there. And, um, you know, of course, then Lake Erie. I mean, there's just uh, what folks would say is so many options and so many fish. It's just a wonderful place to come. Exactly. And that's our destination of the week. And with that, Frank, woohoo! Well, Can't out. catch fish unless we got them in the water, man. Yeah, bud. Rooster! Oh my goodness! Jeez. It has been a great time. On this week's Chevy Destination, we head to the Niagara River in New York. The river is the drainage outlet for the four upper Great Lakes, Superior, Michigan, Huron, and Erie having an aggregate basin area of 260,000 square miles. Flowing in a northerly direction from Lake Erie to Lake Ontario, a distance of 35 miles, the Niagara constitutes part of the boundary between the United States and Canada, separating New York State from the province of Ontario. About halfway along the river's course lies Niagara Falls, one of the major scenic spectacles of the continent. Below the falls and extending for seven miles is the Niagara Gorge. This stretch of 2.25 miles from Horseshoe Falls is known as the Maid of the Mist Pool and is only navigable by excursion boats. The Niagara River offers an abundance of recreational and historical activities. To get to upstate New York or wherever your next outdoor destination takes you to, make sure you're getting there in a new Chevrolet vehicle. Go online today for monthly specials or to find a dealer near you. Well, folks, I'm gonna get Frank to show us exactly what we're catching these fish on, okay? And you know, Frank, again, this live bait is crawfish, uh, these these little hummers right here. Yep. Um, and that's that seems to be what they want today, folks. So yeah, with that, that's what we're gonna give them. Pretty, show the folks how we're rigged. Pretty simplistic. All we have is a three-way swivel set up with about a eight-inch dropper to a piece of pencil lead. And that pencil lead will actually flow over the bottom pretty easily without snagging and then we run about a six foot leader down to today we're running a number two hook the business end we put the crayfish on there and you're pretty much letting that rig bounce along the bottom exactly uh, they, they really bottom oriented right now probably because of the conditions they don't want to move very much and it's been highly effective so well it has uh, matter of fact again since we moved here uh, and I've, been, I've been smoking the guy. And that ain't, that's not, just well, it just doesn't happen good, very often. No. <laughs> well, we are running different rigs, and you happen to have the better rig. You know, and right? that's true, you know. And, and but we're going to find out now I switched. Yeah, but you're the consummate uh, <laughs> oh, yeah. host uh, as a guide. You want, you know, you want your well, folks to catch Actually, we, we're just trying to figure out what they wanted. And exactly. When you get five fish in one pass and the other guy gets one bite, I think it's I time know, to switch I know. over. So. I know. You know, it's... That's a nice thing. But you know, the, the thing that I can't say enough is, is two locations, one day, small mouth yes. at both, and it's just, you know. Exactly, it's, it's like we're in another world down here. Lake Erie is. was fine this morning. They didn't predict it 100% right. It got a little rough, so all we did was take a 25 minute drive, and it's like beautiful out exactly. here. Exactly, sure is, yeah. yeah. 
Matter of fact, it's even hot in New York. Yes, huh? yes. We are the Miami of the North. There Bob. you go. I got you. <laughs> <laughs> that was like, bam. <laughs> he wanted it. He wanted it. Ah, uh, man. You know, we're in fairly Switch. fairly shallow water, too. Yeah, we are. Only in about 10 feet right here. And, you know, the water temperature is 73, oh, yeah. uh, which is still good. That's, that's, that's not nothing to sneeze about now. Oh, no. That's oh. a nice brownie. Yep. Nice little brownie. Yeah. We'll let them go, let them grow, and yep, I yep. want to get back down there. There you go. I know there's more. Ah. Well, you know, uh, Frank, there's a little bit of history about this area of the river as it moves in. I know we have uh, Fort Niagara up there. Yep. What, what were some of the historic features about that that whole tourist attraction? Well, Fort, Fort Niagara was built, you know, in the 1600s by the French, uh -huh. and it's actually been occupied by the French, the British, and now the Americans, obviously. Yeah. And uh, it's got got a lot of old story times to it, but basically was one of the first forts on the Great Lakes and was an important fort because any time anyone went west, they had to come right by here. So st strategically, it was important. Hmm. Fish on, Frank. Woo! Ooh, son. <laughs> now, this yeah, one might buddy. be just a little bit bigger than the last one. Maybe. Just maybe. <laughs> just maybe. You never know. They they act like uh, they're on steroids. I, I tell you, th and that's why I love yep. smallmouth fishing so and they much. They don't quit. No, you know, the great thing about them is they just have uh, endless energy. Yeah. You know. No quitting them. And dancing across the top on that tail. I mean, golly, look at that. Oh yeah, I know you are. Never red eyes. You know, folks. I tell you what. If you've never fished for a smallmouth bass, I highly recommend it. Because again, it is, especially here, Frank, I, it's just, it's just a, a great go-to fish. Oh yeah. I and mean, you're yeah, gonna catch I mean, a lot of these fish. Um, they're gonna vary anywhere from two and a half to, to five or six pounds or bigger. Um, and, and you know, they're just a lot of fun to catch. And so with that, huh, you did good again, man. Yeah, I'll tell you what. All right. Fish on. Oh. I'm not sure which is louder, me or the bell. <laughs> I think that bell's their <laughs> dinner bell, Bob. Yeah, look at that. Woo-hoo-hoo. Come on up here, man. Now, you know I lost Ooh, the last nice bigger one. one. Yeah, that's a nicer fish. Yeah. Mm, just hang on here, sister. Come on, just hang on. I'm coming, I'm coming. Yeah, I'm coming. Look at that. Mm. Ooh, yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, man. Oh, nice, nice, mm. nice, Frankie. Nothing huh? wrong with that. No, sir, there's not. Oh, man. All right, hot dog, huh? <laughs> Woo. Folks, again, check out Frank Campbell on our website, bobredford.com, Bob's Top 16. Frank, tell them your website, how they can get a hold of you. NiagaraCharter.com. Yeah, man. Woohoo! Mm -mm. Oh, and I got to put in a plug. We're staying at the Riverside Inn Motel. Motel. Yeah. yeah, and and I tell you what, that is the it's right along the river. It's a great place, Lewiston, New York. It's a wonderful destination. It is. Okay. It is. You want to know what, Bob? It's speaking of that, there's just so much to do in Lewiston. Places to eat. Yeah. Places to stay. Getting gas. Getting groceries. That's what makes it. You're selling the whole experience. And Niagara Falls is only seven miles away. Fort Niagara, a lot to do, and that's that's important. I think people you know need things to do around the fishing well you know and and folks you've seen our good friend bill hiltz who's in charge of uh, tourism up here in this area i know he's a good friend of yours and yeah, and yeah. i tell you they just do things right here yeah they do they I do mean, you know and it's just ever expanding so every year it seems like there's new things to do and it's it's a great area to visit especially for people from down south to come up there in the summer yeah it's like a break from the heat and fishing's pretty good and there's things to do so. there you go All right and folks listen in the backdrop as you can see back there is uh, canada eh? yeah for all you canadians out there woohoo it's awesome <laughs> yeah man Woo! yeah come on pull back like that's on. what i'm talking about yeah man that's yeah now on that cast, you know, I threw out just a little bit farther. Yep. Oh, and then uh, continue to let it bump on the bottom. South Carolina's Santee Cooper Country invites you to relax and get away from the pressures of everyday life from world-class fishing, golf, 
camping or lakeside dining on traditional southern cuisine. With over 450 miles of shoreline, Santee Cooper is an exciting challenge for fishing, canoeing, and kayaking offering unique outdoor adventures for the whole family. Santee Cooper Country. Discover the natural wonders of South Carolina's Great Lakes. To receive a free newsletter and e-news, just log on at SanteeCooperCountry.org. When hunting out of an elevated stand, always use a lifeline so you can stay connected from bottom to top. Your family will be glad you did. This has been another safety hunting tip from South Carolina DNR. Remember, safe hunting is no accident the Chevy Silverado. With available Super Cruise connected by OnStar, only Super Cruise lets you drive hands-free and tow hands-free. It'll help you get to the adventure energized and it'll help drive you home. Brown & Company Land Brokers present the Recreational Property of the Week. This pristine 124-acre property is located in Fairfield County, South Carolina. Features a 600-square-foot rustic cabin, one-acre stocked fish pond, a 24-by-36 Hoover pole barn, enclosed equipment shed and hunting stands throughout the property. There are abundant hunting opportunities for deer, turkey, wild hogs, and small game. Don't miss out on this great property. Schedule a viewing today. To safely cross an obstacle like a fence, unload your firearm, cover the muzzle, place the firearm on the other side of the fence, cross the fence, reload, and continue your hunt. This has been another safety hunting tip from South Carolina DNR. Bob Redfern's Outdoor Magazine is being brought to you by these great partners. Discover South Carolina. There is always something new to discover in our state parks and all across the Palmetto State. Chevrolet, the official vehicle of Bob Redfern's Outdoor Magazine. Lake Hartwell Country, the land by the blue wall. The South Carolina Agriculture Department, it's a matter of taste. The old 96th District of South Carolina. Come discover the unexpected wonders of South Carolina's 96th District and by South Carolina Embroidery and Screen Printing, your one stop for all your company's promotional needs. Fish on, Frank? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Got me re-rigging. Re you you re-rigging, okay. Yeah, and you're catching them too fast. Well, I'll tell you what. All right, we're gonna show everybody what we're rigged with here and what we're using to catch all these fish. Um, tried a bunch of various baits, but it seems to be the combination for today. Well, you know, Bob, you, you'll see that live bait sometimes will dominate when the conditions are real, uh, yeah, really laid down, and it's not overcast. It's sunny, so exactly. they get a lot of time to look at that bait. And there, some days they just want the real thing, and, and we could probably catch them on other things, but. Yeah, we're here to catch fish, have fun. Well, exactly. And, I mean, you know, you whatever know. it takes. And you know, and again, that's the good thing about folks. What Frank will do is he's designed and set up so you catch fish, okay? And we're all about catching fish as well. Oh yeah, and yeah. you want to know, Bob? I mean, there are days when you're better off with a Berkeley gulp and a drop shot. Exactly. You know, but sometimes the fish dictate what you do, and today they're dictating. You know, I've been running the drop shot, and they really want that three-way swivel set up. Exactly. So You're exactly we're gonna right. Feed them what they want. Exactly. There we go. Okay. Come on. Get on back in there, sister. Woo fish, fish, Frank. Woo <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> Woo yeah. Come on, pull back. Like That's on. what I'm talking about. Yeah, man. Heck yeah. Now, in that cast, you know, I threw out just a little bit farther. Yep. Oh, and then we... uh, continue to let it bump on the bottom. Well, we talked about how nice of a day it is and the sun yeah. penetration, light penetration. And yeah, exactly. Sometimes the boat will spook them a little bit. Yeah. Get away from it and you've got results. I'm telling you. That looks mm -hmm. like a good one, though, sir. This is awesome. Oh, come on. Come on now. I want you to come up here. This might this might be the fish oh, yeah. of the day dog, here. Big dog. Here oh, right yeah. Look at him. Mm. Yeah, man. Uh, get over there. I just want to take your picture. That's all. We just want to take your picture. Come on. We just want to take your picture. You want me to grab him for you, Bob? I got him. I could see that hook just dangling. Yeah. 
I just want the folks out there to, there you go. to have a chance. No, man, I'll tell you what. <laughs> that hook wasn't coming out. <laughs> no, that's a good thing. Mm-hmm. Was not coming out. Okay. A nice little football bass. Mm -mm -mm. There we go, folks. I will tell you. The Niagara River, upstate New York, smallmouth fishing right there. It is awesome. Mm, I highly recommend it. Again, go to bobredford.com, go to Bob's Tips Top 16, and you're going to find Frank Campbell right there. Frank, tell him again your website. NiagaraCharter.com. That's Pretty what I'm easy. talking about. Hmm. Oh, yeah, we know what that is. That bad boy's coming right up way he, out there. I'm telling you. When they are ready, they are ready. Yes, sir. Oh, trying to keep up with them. Yeah. I'm sure sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> Woo. Well, I'll tell, tell you what, we got a little bit of the of the southeast heat, man. I was going to I was gonna accuse you of bringing it with you. Man, it's we may have. Out here. I'm telling you. Gosh. Here we uh, we left and escaped 100 degree weather, and we thought you'd uh, you know you'd be good to go. <laughs> it's not quite 100 degrees here, but it's not warm. quite. By our standards, it's warm. That's a nice nice little smallie right there. Yeah, buddy. Yeah. Oh, awesome. Yeah. Nothing wrong with that. No, sir. Fought his brains out. Yeah, he did. We're gonna let him go and get bigger. Yeah, there you go. Thank you. For next time. Nice sizzling hot pan. Ooh, yeah. And you know, grouper tastes so good. It, it, really it does. does. And you know, I'm not a big fish person, but it's nice and it's flaky. It's, it doesn't leave that fish aftertaste. What does it mean to be an ultimate outsider? Find out on a journey from the beaches of the Atlantic to the Blue Ridge Mountains, where you can unearth new outdoor adventures around every turn. And if you've got what it takes, visit all of South Carolina state parks to become an ultimate outsider. Start your journey at SouthCarolinaParks.com. Come out and play. Nestled in the western part of South Carolina, the old 96th district is comprised of Abbeville, Edgefield, Greenwood, Lawrence, and McCormick counties. Rich in history and small town charms, the old 96th district is part of South Carolina's freshwater coast with over 2,000 miles of shoreline offering lakeside camping, boating, and fishing. Local shops offer a variety of unique gifts, artwork, and food. Discover the unexpected wonders of the old 96th district of South Carolina. Sportsman's Table is brought to you by the South Carolina Department of Agriculture. Whether you live in South Carolina or coming to vacation, make sure you're purchasing South Carolina grown farm products. Make sure your food is South Carolina certified. It's a matter of taste. Folks, welcome into this week's edition of the Sportsman's Table. We're on the beautiful campus of Ori Georgetown Tech at the International Culinary Institute here in Myrtle Beach. And joining me today is Chef Brittany Lee. She is with Lee's Farm down in Myrtle's Inlet. I tell you what, Brittany, it's always a pleasure to have you Thank back. Thank you. Hey, it's good to Glad see to you, be okay? Back. And you've got a beautiful, great fish recipe for us today. Tell me about it. I do. So I have uh, some local grouper I got from Seven Seas. Oh, um, wow. Yeah, they, they really gave me some nice stuff. They, you know, they catch about 80% of everything that they have. Right. Uh, so I put it with a Parmesan crust, a little bit of parsley, so half Parmesan, half uh, panko breadcrumbs, a little bit of parsley, nice sizzling hot pan. Oh yeah. And you know, 
grouper tastes so good. It, I mean, it, really it does. does, and you know, I'm not a big fish person, but it's nice and it's flaky. It's, it doesn't leave that fish aftertaste. Exactly. So that's a really, really great one for. And the Parmesan, man, that really adds a, a really great flavor to it. It, it does, and uh, between that and the panko, it gets this nice crust on it, and yeah. it looks really impressive by being super, super easy, which is kind of what we're going for. How long are you going to let it cook for? I'm, right now, since my pan is already hot, uh, you heard it sizzle kind of when it went in, about two or three minutes, and then I'm going to flip it. It's going to have that nice crust. If you have a thicker piece, you can always throw it in the oven for about 10 minutes, uh, but if you have a thin piece like this, it's only going to take about six or seven minutes. Great. All right, Brittany, our fish is done, six, seven minutes. Ah, that grouper looks great. Yeah, and like I said, it's got that nice crispiness. It's a pretty good size uh, thin for, for one person. If you had it thicker, you just throw it in the oven, but otherwise you're now, good to go. Uh, now you're going to make this great sauce. Yeah, so what we're going to do to put on it is going to be a tomato basil beurre blanc sauce. Super, super easy. Uh, what's important, though, is that we're not going to cover the whole fish with the sauce. We're going to put it at the bottom half because we just made this nice golden crispiness. We don't want to just make it all soggy. Okay. So I have a little bit of butter in here, okay. and then I'm going to add shallots. Mm. I'm going to just cook those to translucent, meaning like clear. We don't want them brown at all because the beurre blanc is going to be white. We don't want any kind of like browning or greasiness or anything like that. So okay. we're going to cook that just a few minutes to make it nice and clear translucent. Then I'm going to add a little bit of white wine vinegar and dry white wine. You can use any kind of white wine. I use Chardonnay today, but you can use anything that you want. Uh, once I bring that up to a simmer, then I'll add a little bit of heavy cream. Uh, for this particular dish, I have just a quarter cup. Uh, and then we're going to emulsify the butter in, which means we're going to add the butter a little bit at a time to kind of blend it in uh, with a whisk. We'll add the basil and the tomato at the very end. All right, so we've added all of our ingredients and our sauce has come back to a simmer. We want to serve it immediately. Kay. So I've, I've decided to pair it with asparagus. You can do whatever you want. I just like to do, you know, a green vegetable with, with fish. Yeah. So we have asparagus, a lemon wedge. I'm going to move our fish over here. Personally, I like to cover up the back of the asparagus and keep the points out. Just a personal preference. Listen, if I'm in a restaurant getting this, that's an awesome <laughs> piece of grouper, huh? I'm serious. Thank you. Mm. All right, mm. so I'm going to take my beurre blanc sauce, and like I said, you do want to serve that immediately. I'm going to pour that just right over the fish. Oh, I'd man. added the tomato and the basil. I didn't actually cook that into there because it'll, it'll brown both of them. So I just kind of added it at the end. And folks, it smells great. Mm. And then just for a little pop of color, we're going to put a little bit of tomatoes and a little bit of extra basil just right there on top. Mm. And then I'm going to just take this lemon that I got from Lee's Farm. Mm. And I'm just going to squeeze that just over the whole dish. And there you go. Oh, my goodness. Brittany, that is great. Thank you. And, folks, if you want a copy of Brittany's recipe, just log on to BobRedfern.com, and it'll be right there on our website. Thank you so much. Thank it's you always so much. from Lee's Farm. It's always great to see you. And I will tell you, Appreciate folks, it. listen, log on to CertifiedSC.com and see what's fresh on your menu. We'll be right back here again next week. It is a matter of taste on another episode of The Sportsman's Table. To find out more information on supporting local South Carolina farmers and their products, visit CertifiedSC.com. It's a matter of taste. Take a journey off the beaten path to Lake Hartwell Country. Tucked away in the northeast corner of South Carolina, Lake Hartwell Country is a hidden gem with waterfalls, mountains, beautiful lakes, and history dating back to Revolutionary War times. For the outdoor enthusiasts, Lake Hartwell Country offers fishing, hiking, water recreation, horseback riding, and so much more. Come visit Lake Hartwell Country, the land by the blue wall. Understand the fish. Design the bait. No, redesign it. Trim this. Add that. Definitely more of that. Perfect. Will they smash it? <laughs> Smashing it and holding it. That's how we do it. That's the formulas. Tweak the colors. Make it sing. Make it dance. Optimize design for that lateral line. All with a single track mind for getting hit, staying bit, ripping lips for making any fish your fish. That's our science. Berkeley science, baby. The Chevy Silverado. With available Super Cruise connected by OnStar. Only Super Cruise lets you drive hands-free and tow hands-free. It'll help you get to the adventure energized 
and it'll help drive you home. Southern Woods Plantation. The name itself conjures up images of a time gone by. A time of towering pines, mule-drawn wagons, and covey after covey of Bob White quail. Southern Woods Plantation has been chosen as one of the top six hunting destinations in America. They offer great hunting, comfortable lodging, wonderful food, and world-class dogs. Southern Woods Plantation, where the past can still be experienced today. Bob Redfern's Outdoor Magazine is being brought to you today by these great partners. By the South Carolina Department of Natural Resources, making life better in the outdoors of South Carolina. By Abu Garcia, fish to win with Abu Garcia. By Upcountry South Carolina, Upcountry South Carolina, perfectly seasoned. By Southern Woods Plantation, offering the best quail hunting in the Southeast. And by Santee Cooper Country, Discover the natural wonders of South Carolina's Great Lakes. Fish on, Frank. Oh, Bob. Oh, I'm getting a bite. Nope. Hooked up, baby. You hooked? Yeah. <laughs> a double. <laughs> 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 All right, I'm coming around the bow, man. All right. Oh, get out oh. of the trolling motor. Get out of there. I think I got a good one here, Bob. Yeah. Oh man, oh, you I got a little you're... fatty there. That's... Yeah, he's not bad. Yeah. Ah. Man, oh man. Oh, there he yeah. is. Oh yeah. Oh wow, Frank. Awesome, awesome, yeah. awesome. Look at that pair. <laughs> Folks, look at that pair of smallmouth from the upstate of New York right there. Mm -hmm. I can remember smallmouth, buddy. Look at these oh, fish. Lake Ontario, wow. I guess to be. Wow, wow, wow. Oh. 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 Come here. Uh. Come here. Come on. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Looky there. <laughs> okay, yours is bigger. Huh? Uh -huh. Yours is bigger. That's all right. Yeah. Well, folks, listen, we've had a great show. Great time up here in upstate New York. This is part two of New York Smallmouth. Again, we just decided we had a great day this morning on Lake Erie and for the magic of TV, we just decided to do a part two, yeah. okay? Here on the Niagara River, we're right now, you can see Lake Ontario is to our backdrop, and we just ended on a double in the day show, okay? Yes, sir, bud. Well, Frank, I tell you what, tell everybody how they can get a hold of you. You can come up here and fish with you, man. I'm Easiest gonna let this way, NiagaraCharter.com. My website, information, and phone number will be on there. My let good him. man, this is awesome. Yeah. Great this way to is, end the day, This Bob. is awesome. What a great way to end the day. <laughs> Thank you, my friend. I really appreciate Thank it you. so much. It's just an awesome time again to come up here again. Lewiston, New York, Frank Campbell. Go to Bob's Top 16 on our website at bobredfern.com. And as I always like to say each and every week, the outdoors is my passion. I want it to be yours too. We'll see you next time. You know, we got some daylight left. I, gosh, I hate to go home. Let's go. We'll go get them. Okay, let's go get them. All right, man.